Welcome to this video. We are going to learn how to solve problems on displacement distance graphs in IB physics. This is topic 4, and we are studying waves. A medium is shown below when there is no wave present. These purple dots represent the particles in the medium. Right now there's no wave present. So what we're looking at here, these are the resting positions of each particle. What do these numbers represent? Let's consider this one. Hmm, we're counting up 0, 4, 8, 12, and so forth. So 20, that's how far this rest position is from the left edge. We could call it the distance d from the left edge to the rest position. So we're describing, when we say d equals 20 meters, we're describing this particle, this one, this purple one right there, we're describing that particle which has this rest position. Okay. Let's see what the question says. A wave is sent through the medium. After some time has passed, a plot is created showing how the displacement from equilibrium varies with the distance to the particle's rest position from the left edge. The graph represents a single moment in time. So the idea is we send a wave through, and now the medium does not look like this. Particles are scrunched up in some places, maybe like that, right? And they're kind of spread out in other places. There's a wave. Or maybe they start out spread, and then they're kind of scrunched up there, and then they're spread out and scrunched up. We don't know which of these two that I just drew, we don't yet know which one is correct. Is that what the wave looks like at this moment shown in the graph? Or at the moment shown in the graph, does the wave, uh, does the medium look like this? So the question is, what does the medium look like? The problem continues. It says, on the number line above, mark an X to indicate the location of each particle in the moment represented by the graph to the left. So we are going to draw the medium using x's. And we're going to draw it using the information in this graph. OK. The x value on the graph, the x value represents the center position, or the resting position, of the particle. The y value represents how far it's been pushed left or right. Positive is to the right, negative is to the left. So we have positive displacement and negative displacement. Let's start at the beginning. Right here, the y value, uh, sorry, the x value is 0. d is equal to 0. So this point on the graph is describing the particle with the rest position of 0. Here it is. I just boxed it. It's this particle right here. So that particle right there with the rest position of 0, it has a displacement, a y value, of positive 2. That means we need to take this particle and move it 2 to the right. So it's, put, it's, it's actually right here. It's not located at its rest position. It has been displaced 2 meters to the right. That's what this says. It's been displaced 2 meters to the right. The next dot that we have is for the particle whose rest position, the x value, is 4 meters. So find that particle on the number line. 4 meters. Here it is. Here's the particle. Is it still located at 4 meters, or has it been displaced? Hmm. Well, at this point, the y value is 0. So there is not any horizontal displacement. The particle is still at the same spot. No displacement. The next particle, the next dot we have, this particle is uh, the one whose rest position equals 8. So d, the rest position is 8 for this particle. Let's find it up here. 8 meters. There's the rest position of 8. So now we have to take that particle, and how is it displaced? The y value, the displacement, is negative 2. So this particle right here, the one located at 8 meters, is not still there. It's been pushed 2 meters to the left. 
The next particle is the one whose rest position is equal to 12 meters. That's how far the position is from the edge. So let's see, 12 meters. It's this one. And the question is, is that particle still at 12 or has it been moved? Hmm. Let's see. The displacement, the y value, is 0. The curve, right, the curve is located on the x-axis at this data point. So the, the y value is 0, therefore there is no displacement. The displacement is 0. Oops. The next one, 16. The rest position is 16 meters for this particle. So we're looking at that guy right there. And where is it? How has it been displaced? The displacement is positive 2 meters. So it's been pushed 2 meters to the right. The next particle has the rest position of 20 meters from the left edge. So the distance is 20 meters from the left edge. We're talking about this particle right here, the one with that rest position. Remember, the purple dots here in this first, in this top, the purple dots show the rest position. Right. So this particle with 20 meters as its rest position, its displacement, oops, here it is, this one, its displacement is 0 because the graph has a y value of 0 at d equals 20. All right then, if the displacement is 0, then it's been pushed 0 meters. Finally, we have the uh, particle whose center position is 24, its rest position is 24, and that particle has been pushed 2 meters to the left. So it's not still here, it's been pushed 2 meters to the left right there. 28 meters, 28 meters. The particle with this rest position has displacement equal to oh, 0. The y value is 0 because it's on the x-axis. So the y value is 0 and its displacement then is 0. The next thing I want to do is mark with a C the center of compressions. Let's see, compressions. That's where the particles are all scrunched up. So here we have three scrunched up particles. The center is right here. Here's another compression of three scrunched up particles. There's a C there for the center of that compression. Then I'm going to mark with an R. So C is the center of a compression. Compression. With an R, I would like to mark the center of a rarefaction. Center of a rarefaction. All right, so a rarefaction is an expansion. This is a really expanded part right there. If we look at, let's see, what color should I use? If we look at like um, this on the whole, right here is the center of that expanded area. Right? And then likewise, this is another expanded area here. If we continued the medium, we would have like three close X's right here. But we haven't shown that part of the medium. Now, there is one last question. Let me bring this question up. State the wavelength of this wave. The wavelength. The wavelength is the distance from compression to compression. So if this is one compression, let me use black here. If this is the center of one compression, the wavelength is the distance to the center of the next compression. So we're going from 4 to 20, which means the wavelength is 16. 16 what? 16 meters. We are measuring that in meters. Whoops. Wavelength is 16 meters. Another way to see the wavelength is you could just say, okay, um, the wavelength is, you know, just go this distance from here to here. That's another way to see the wavelength. You just get the distance between successive in-phase points in the medium. So this particle and that particle, those are in-phase because they are at the same stage of oscillation. Right? They're oscillating left and right, and they are both pushed to the right. So they're at the same spot in their oscillation. So the wavelength is 16 meters.